Hello viewers, welcome back. In our previous tutorial series, we looked at how to configure the analog input cards. In this part of our tutorial series, we will look at how to scale signals that are coming from sensors into engineering units which will be useful for operators and also other users. Let's get started. Before we do, kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Every analog input model has some resolution. For example, the Arduino Interna ADC has a resolution of let's say 10 bits. It means that it has a range of values between 0 to 2 to the power 10. So indexing from 0 we will have 0 to 1023 which implies that if I have a temperature sensor which ranges between 0 to 150 degrees Celsius then I need to convert this physical quantity into electrical signals would by the Arduino ADC okay so if I'm to convert the signal I have to convert 0 will be equivalent to 0 degrees and then 5 volts which is the maximum voltage of the analog ADC of the Arduino Will be equivalent to 150 degrees then applying this 0 to 5 volts to the arduino adc card it will then convert it from 0 volts map it to zero a number of zero and then also the 5 volts to the maximum adc bits number which is 2 to the power 10 which is 1023 okay so if we apply a voltage of zero to the adc you realize that the the analog value is zero and then when we apply 5 volts we can see 5 volts here then we have the maximum ADC number which is 1023 when we apply half of the voltage which is 2.5 we will get the 512 which will be equivalent to the temperature 75 degrees okay so similarly PLC analog cards also have uh, bits resolution let's say from here we have 12 bits we have 13 bits and then 14 and then 16 bit so just as we did for the Arduino you'll be thinking to get the maximum number of counts for the analog to digital converter will be 2 to the power 12 if you're having a 12 bit card or 2 to the power 16 if you're having a 16 bit card however PLCs normally have a standard maximum number in Siemens PLC this digit is 27648 if you are using any other brand of PLC you need to check their manual and identify this maximum ADC number that we use for the calculation for the scaling okay so with this understanding we will look at a quick example let's say for instance we have a weight which is in kg and then we have a signal which is converting this particular weight into electrical signal 4 to 20 milliamp 4 will be mapped to 0 kg and then 20 milliamp will be mapped to 100 kg okay if we are to read this signal and then scale it back into this uh, engineering unit we will look at how we'll be able to achieve this basically you'll be able to achieve this using the equation of a line which is y equals to mx plus b where y is the engineering unit you are trying to convert to x is the input signal that is the signal coming from the imp analog input card and then m is the scalar and then the last which is B is the offset so with this understanding we can use this equation to model our problem and then solve it using a simple code in step 7 okay so to do this we need to look for the scalar calculate the scalar and to get the scalar is going to be Y divided by the maximum ADC conversion number which in our case is 27648 so I bring a divider block so the maximum unit of the skill is 100 kg so I put 100.0 because it's real and then the maximum ADC number from the Siemens PLC analog card is 27648.0 and this the results will give us the scalar so I can go to temp and then write it to a temporary memory so I call this scalar the data is real so I have to convert to real 
and then I can copy this variable and then paste it at the output okay great so getting the scalar we then need to multiply this scalar by the input signals that is coming in and then we should be able to get our data coming in in kg that is in the engineering unit so I have to bring a multiplier so it's going to be the results which is the scalar times the signal coming in which is our input ADC input signal which is in the equation is X but because I need to enter values in the simulator I need to enter a memory address memory double word sorry memory double word 10 and then the final results I will write it to another memory so double word I've occupied up to 14 so I'll get another memory double word 14 great so we calculate we get the scalar we multiply the scalar by the signal coming in and we should be able to get our data out in kg so I save and then download I open the simulator I put the simulator into run mode okay so our signal coming in is m memory double word 10 and then our data coming out is memory double word 14 okay so with this set i will go online okay so currently our input signal that is the signal coming in is zero so if i change it to the maximum adc number which is 276 for eight we can see that I have 100 kg as the outputs of my code and then when I move to let's say 2000 I have 7 kg if I go to 20,000 I have a 72 kg so basically we've been able to use the equation of a line to calculate and then scale our raw data which is the raw data coming in into engineering units for the operator to understand and also we can use that other section of our program okay so basically this is the concept but thankfully step 7 has an inbuilt scalar block that we can make use of so see you in the next tutorial and then i'll walk you through how to use this scalar block to achieve results just like we've done here if you are using other plc's which do not have this scalar block then you can use this particular mathematical model to calculate every signal coming in into a useful engineering unit thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye